So I just built an SMS booking bot to qualify motivated seller leads. And I wanna show you exactly what happened on this real lead. So this is a recording of my screen and I'm gonna play it. So there's no sound, but basically this is today, October 13th, and this was just about uh, 40 minutes ago. And this was a lead that we generated from our off-market lead system using Facebook ads. Now I reactivated this lead that had previously responded, um, but was not actually responded to by my client. And so I reactivated this lead from a few days ago from a Facebook ad, and basically this is what happened. So we said, you know, say yes to get started. He said yes. And then I said, first things first, are you interested in selling your house? Say yes if you are. If not, simply say stop and we won't message you anymore. And he said yes. And then the bot basically goes into, you know, asking him a few questions and telling him, you know, this will be real quick. We're going to be done in about 30 seconds. How many bedrooms does your property have? And he says three. And then it says, awesome. How many bathrooms does your property have? And he says two, and then he says, awesome. Can you please confirm the entire address of the property? And this was crazy because he actually took photos and sent the photos of the property. Now this looks like more of a traditional listing. Um, and I'm gonna talk more about you know what it is that I'm doing, why I'm doing this and using Facebook ads plus um, an SMS bot. But let me just continue to kind of go through this and how we're gonna start to qualify these leads even more. So then I have to move over, you know, on the other screen because basically he provided his uh, actual address below the photos. And then for some reason, high level is showing these messages out of order, but we say, okay, when would you like to have the property sold? And then he says, once I received a good offer. And then we say, sounds good. Would you be willing to send us photos of the property? And he said, just sent pics in last text. And then, um, in, yeah, in last text. And then we say, okay, let's, uh, this was actually a typo because um, I literally built this like, Within like 20 minutes, I had a whole breakthrough and I'll, I'll talk more about that here. But I just said, okay, la meant to say last step after rev reviewing this information, what time works best to call you to go over your cash offer morning, afternoon, or evening. evening. And he says pretty much open unless in a meeting or something open. And then um, it just automatically says, okay, give us a few minutes to review. And then he says, no problem. Now, um, let me kind of break down the strategy that I'm planning to implement uh, for all of the real estate investors that I'm working with. And if you're a real estate investor and you want done for you Facebook ads where you can generate off-market deals and motivated sellers, you can go to um, newbreedinvestor.com, get unlimited seller leads, plans start at 2,500 per month, month to month too, no, no sales tactics. I've been getting quite a bit of investor signups um, from these videos. So I wanna just continue to work with you guys and um, implement this with you guys since there's a lot of cool stuff that I've been working on. So anyway, let me talk about what it is that I'm doing and what I'm planning to do moving forward because I've had quite a few breakthroughs and um, I wanna share them with you guys. So um, basically step one is gonna remain the same. So we're still using high quality Facebook ads with specific messaging for people that have specific problems. Now we are still using a go high level survey that you know we have in our go high level investor snapshot, um, but there's gonna be some, some slight changes and testing that I'm gonna be doing because um, I'm basically gonna be swapping out some potential questions on the survey for this qualifying bot and I'll tell you why. Um, but basically for now, um, as long as we're collecting a valid property address, this is like the key to getting seller leads, right? Because if you don't ask for a property address and you just ask for name, email, phone number, um, you just increase the likelihood that somebody isn't an actual property owner. So if you can just get people that own properties in the first place with the Facebook ads, um, now you have a good starting point, okay? So prior to kind of this implementation and plan that I'm, I'm working on, um, we would have long form surveys where we're asking all different types of qualification questions, um, you know, within the actual survey, right? Um, but now what I'm working on is this qualifying bot. And I literally like this thing that I just did, I added about 20 contacts to, um, you know, this bot, um, literally within the last hour. And um, only like two people got the messages because of the A2P stuff. Um, so there's just some different keywords that, you know, I have to adjust and, and figure out. Um, but basically I sent it to 20 people. It only actually went to two people and one of them like just did what I just showed you. So it's basically, it's not necessarily statistically significant, but you know, anything that I've ever found that works really well, it, it works well fast and it works, it's easy. And so I have a lot of cool stuff to, to show you if I, you know, as I kind of I like to prove things in reality and actually show real results and then, you know, share how I did it with you guys. But right now this was just a lead that we got a few days ago. You know, he had responded to us and we basically, you know, our client just didn't give an actual response. So I was like, all right, well, let me just, you know, there's not really any harm to adding this, this bot to this lead. So, you know, then he went through this entire thing. Now, the reason for incorporating this qualifying bot is because, you know, the reality out of Facebook ads, and I've seen this with, you know, every client that I've worked with, 
one out of 50 leads is going to turn into a deal. Like I've said this in multiple videos, but I know that a lot of people are new on the channel too that watch these videos. One out of 50 leads is going to turn into a deal. Okay. So, you know, let's just say somebody's like amazing, right? Like they just have the best system, you know, the best follow up, you know, everything's just like perfect. Even if somebody did that, they're not even going to convert five leads out of 50, you know, like if they did, they wouldn't be able to sustain it over, um, you know, over a consistent period of time. Maybe you have a nice batch of leads and then it'll level out, but you're never going to get five, 10, 20 deals out of motivated seller leads from Facebook ads, even PPC, any sort of like marketing. If you study conversion rates, even people that have, you know, really good Shopify stores where they sell things online, even then, you know, you're, you're doing well if you've got like a 5% conversion rate. So there's just kind of laws to things. And so when you start to realize that instead of, you know, me hyping up clients and telling them, oh, you're going to just, you know, get all these miracle leads and all this stuff. It's like, I've just learned that one out of 50 leads is going to turn into a deal. If you do well, maybe you'll get two. If you do really well, maybe you'll get three and maybe four. Okay. And anything above that, then I don't know why. Oh, is that iOS giving me the thumbs up? Okay. Um, it's just when you actually understand this, you can design systems around it to basically mitigate all of the junk, right? Because even though we get people to fill out a survey, they're still just junk. They're just not serious people, right? So what my thought is, is that if we can continue to get verified, you know, property owners to fill out a survey, and then we can incorporate this qualification bot, then basically we can add way more questions, right? Because once you capture the lead from Facebook, like you're no longer paying Facebook for that impression, right? But let's just say that you make a hundred question survey from a Facebook ad, you're going to start you know, you're basically not capturing any sort of information from that lead until they complete that survey. So the shorter the process is, but while still making sure that the, the lead is an actual homeowner, the more cost effective we can be on the back end with number one, like following up with leads, because if you just follow up with lead, every lead, right? And you just automatically keep following up your Twilio bill, your go high level bill, whatever you want to call it, is just going to raise, right? Especially with the A2P stuff, you get flagged, you know, very easily now. So it's really, we're moving into like a market where people really want to be contacted or going to be doing business with people they want to do business with, right? Just a year ago, two years ago, you could open up an account, text blast whoever you wanted, you know, get insane deliverability and, you know, pull deals just out of pure volume. But now with these different carrier restrictions, you know, you've got to really make sure that users are seriously interested. And so instead of fighting it, which has always been my strength with these types of things, instead of going against the grain and trying to like, just bypass all the A2P stuff and bypass all the follow up restrictions, I'm just going to focus on getting people that are seriously like interested. And so instead of, you know, doing super long surveys where you DQ them there, um, you know, we're going to get leads into the actual survey. And then from there, you can qualify them inside of the SMS bot at way more questions. And then the cool thing too, is you can still use the, the Facebook conversion API to send, you know, when an actual lead is generated based on the bot being completed too. So if you saw my last video, hold on. So you'll remember that I talked about the conversion API and basically how you can filter, you know, uh, you know, leads and send Facebook only specific data based on, you know, people filling out a form and I can go in here and say, oh, you know, their reason for selling is, you know, um, financial hardship. Okay. We're going to mark that as a lead. If their reason isn't for selling is not that then, you know, Facebook won't get that data. Um, so you can do the same thing with, uh, an SMS bot. So I'm going to move this up here and basically let's just say that when someone completes the SMS bot, we add a tag. Well, we can come in here and, you know, choose a specific tag and, you know, whatever, choose this one. I don't have a, a tag yet for this bot as a demo account, but imagine this tag got added when someone completed the questions. Well, now you're still getting the same end result of triggering accurate data based on the real quality leads to Facebook, but you're doing it in a more cost-effective way. And you're also doing it based on engaging the lead, right? Like, Filling out a survey is is great, right? But if someone's actually responding to you in real time and responding to the sequence, I mean, they're they're having a conversation, right? So even though you're you could ask the exact same questions in a survey, if you have somebody on the phone or over text answering those questions, I mean, they're one call away from like being an actual person that you're talking to on the phone. So if you break it down kind of to its raw constituent parts, I mean, at the end of the day, 
It's really just about talking to people that actually want to talk to you and are actually a fit for what it is that you do. And so for me, instead of fighting all the A2P restrictions and trying to go against it and hack all these different ways around it, I'm just going to design processes for the serious people to just have a faster way to get what they want, which for our investors is a cash offer. I mean, people just want to go online, put in their address and see a number, right? And that's what they want. And so all these other illusions, right, kind of make it take longer. It takes, you know, you got to, oh, I got to talk to this person. I got to talk to that person. You got to go through this thing and go through that thing. But it's like, I see a lot of people that I talk to on, on calls that, you know, either have their own agency or business. And it's like, everyone tries to hide the fact that, you know, this is automation. And um, it's funny, I've always felt like if you just tell people that, this is an automated sequence to help you get to where you need to go faster um, so that the person, right, that you're going to end up talking to has what they need. Um, you know, I just feel like it's better to just say, hey, this is automated. Fill these questions out like you saw in the actual bot. I mean, I could have probably just said this. This is automated. I mean, I'm pretty sure this person knew based on, you know, I mean, this thing was responding instantly. And, you know, it says say yes to get started. So, I mean, I think you can put two and two together that, oh, this is, this is a bot, right? And so, I don't know. I just think where we're going is like, people want you to be transparent. People want you to be open with them. People want to buy what they want to buy faster than ever. They don't want to go through this long drawn out process. So I think if you can just run good ads targeted to the people you can help, you just get the basic info you need to make sure that they are an actual seller. If this was a different business, maybe the address obviously wouldn't be as important, but I have seen with Facebook ads and, and lead generation, if you don't ask for a good address, um, you'll get buyers funnily enough. So um, you need to get the verified property address. But from there, if like I literally, this guy basically double opted in. I was like, say yes to get started, yes. And then it said, first things first, are you interested in selling your house? Say yes if you are, if not, simply say stop and we won't message you anymore. And so I just feel like it's way more efficient to just be like, hey, this is what you said you wanted, say yes if you're serious, okay? Just making sure you're saying yes to this thing. Yes. All right, cool. Like, let me ask you what I need to ask you. That way I can give you what you want faster and we're done with it, right? So I don't know. I just, some of the things I see people do to make this stuff more complicated, just it's, it's so funny to me. So um, that's what I'm working on is basically I want to provide an experience for the homeowner with my niche where they can inquire on a Facebook ad. They can fill out a quick survey, super simple, super fast. They basically just go through an automated set of sequences. And if they're not like a fit, the system will just automatically say like, hey, you're not a fit. And my client can decide if they wanna do something with that. And then the ones that are you know, more than likely like there's something to do with, then my client can talk to those people and not have to go chase everyone down and get all this information. So I don't know, to me, it's like the most simplest breakthrough ever because it's like, oh yeah, people just wanna get what they want and they want it to be easy. So if I'm a homeowner and I needed to sell my house fast for cash, I can't imagine how many things I would have to fill out to finally just get a, a damn number, you know? And if you can just automate it and get it pretty close to like, hey, if somebody looks over this property and everything you everything you submitted is accurate, like we can literally give you an answer like within 10, 20 minutes of reviewing it. And that's what I would want. And so it's funny, funny what I'm applying to my clients is what I'm applying to me. Like if you're an investor, you wanna work with me, plans start at 2,500 a month. Like why do we need to do all this like, I don't know, like back and forth and, you know, sales tactics, like there are other potential things I need to know, like the markets that you're interested in um, and just like what processes you have in place on the back end. But other than that, if we get along, you have the budget, you're in markets, we know we can get results for, um, like we can, we can get started. So I'm just like, okay, well, let's just do the same thing with these homeowners. Like if you need to sell your house fast for cash, like fill out this ad, answer these automated questions. Someone's going to review your file and give you a number. So it's the most simplest thing ever, but after realizing like the real raw math with Facebook ads, um, like I said, 90% of them are gonna be junk. Maybe five out of 50 are worth talking to and those are the ones I want my clients to actually get. And the deals that I have actually always seen, right, come through the system, um, cause we have a ton of deals that we've gotten through the system. Like you always, I've always known like right away, like you could just tell, oh, they responded to the automation. They were willing to get on the phone. If there was a bot there, they probably would have filled it out. So. Don't optimize your systems for the low quality, non-serious leads. This is one of the biggest problems I see when I talk to other business owners that aren't investors. They go and change their system for like the people that aren't filling out the, the, the bot or, you know, messing around with it. And it's like, but then you go and look and see all the people that are filling it out and they're just like, oh, like, 
yeah, like that, that lead turned into a deal and she just, he or she just answered the questions and you know, that was it. So yeah, I, I've just kind of realized simplicity just continues to win. And if you do simplicity with quality, um, I just think you have a, a really awesome formula. So that's what we're doing. And this is just the start. Like I said, I applied this with 20, um, people. It only went through to two. I've got to adjust some of these sequences, um, to, to make sure they get past the, the A2P, like the word filtering. Um, but you know, as I start to implement this with more clients, I mean, I think it just makes sense that like people just come into the system, you know, you, you automatically qualify them. They know it, you know it. And, you know, if they need to talk to someone then you know, you can route them there, but it's like people just kind of want what they want in this particular scenario, if they're actually serious. So it's like, why not just make it easy for them? So that's what I'm up to with some motivated seller lead bot, um, systems and Facebook ads. Like I said, if you're an actual investor or you're a wholesaler and you know you want to get some more off-market deals with Facebook ads and automation, um, you can go to newbreedinvestor.com. Plans start at 2,500 per month. You know you potentially can do slightly less ad spend um, if you're doing like nationwide, but this is pretty much where all of my clients fall under. Most people are above this, um, but that's pretty much the actual starting point you would need to get going with us and for the actual ad spend. So you can go book here. It is a um, it is a paid uh, call. It's a thirty minute call. It's super fast, super quick. Um, and then basically we can get you going in like twenty four hours with with all of our systems. So this is what we're doing, um, and would love to to apply this to you know your business if you're a real estate investor because I just kind of think this is the the future of like where consumers want to be talking to people they want to talk to and making it easy for them. So here to help and uh, looking forward to connecting with you. All right, talk to you soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.